Alright guys, today I'm at uh, Frisbee Automotive in Waxhatchee, Texas. We just did a uh, wiring go through on this 200 series here. The truck was originally built to slee. Guy wanted uh, some extra engine bay essentials. So we uh, put a uh, AGM 35 group deep cycle battery as the uh, auxiliary battery here. We got a solar plugged in. So if you want um, solar panel on top of your hood, on top of the 100 watt solar on the roof up here, which then runs through your BCDC charger, which is mounted right behind the grill here. You can see the charge status here. It's the uh, BCDC 1240D. Then you have your jump switch here, connects your batteries. Everything's fused through MIDI fuses here on top of the battery. Same over here with the solar input to the uh, main battery. This is a uh, 31 group AGM deep cycle battery as your main battery. Uh, and then we have our NOCO 10X1 behind the grill there, mounted, and plug in here. Real nice and easy to get to. Just plug it in and go. We have uh, eight-way switch pro, so we can turn on lights from driving. Uh, we have SRQs on the side. We have D-Series Spot Driving Pros on top. And then we have SRQs in the back for reverse lights on the roof rack. Down in here we have uh, USB, USB-C chargers here and here. And here. We have our 12 volt in the center. And then we have a 110 volt uh, that runs off the factory inverter in this back quarter panel here. Favorite thing is the reverse camera relocation that we make specifically for these bumpers. Just leave your bumper, mounts the 200 series camera. I'll show you. Right directly in line with where it mounts factory on the uh, door location. So the 360 camera works really well. Before I get into that, we have a uh, WeBoost cell booster. It runs off of uh, ignition, so when your key's on, your cell booster's on. So we put a 44 liter ARB fridge uh, we have the deep ARB drawer over here. We have the ARB roller drawer, roller floor, that's what they call it, uh, on this side. Both have rolling tops, so you can access this fridge all the way out here. Get into it in here. Pretty nice. We put the uh, side fit kit on this side only, and both sides we cut the factory toilet floor mat so it wasn't just carpet because we couldn't fit the fit kit on this side because he puts a, the customer puts a uh, dog kennel on this side that goes all the way up, all the way side to the side of the fender there um, so he could take his dogs out. We also have a USB-C here, 12 volt here. We have our eight-way switch pro back here as well, so we can control lights while he's camping. We got a uh, 110 volt plug there, plugs into the fridge from the uh, no-co plug in the front. So one goes to the charger, one goes to the fridge, so at nighttime or whenever you charge your truck, uh, 
the one runs the fridge so that the other one can charge the battery right up. And then you got your 12 volt, so as soon as you unplug that 110, swap the uh, Airbase fridge swaps over and runs the fridge off a of 12 volt, which is pretty nice. Then you got your one plug over here for charging. And then in here, we have our fuse panel and all the wiring you can see runs up. In here, goes up the panel back in here, straight up. I'll show you. We have a waterproof sealed type connector goes into more sealed connectors and into more sealed connectors so this whole rack is plug and play so the rack lifts up if you ever have to service anything everything all unplugs um, is all run down the rack goes down the side rails for the uh, uh, roof rack lighting and or 100 amp solar so it's just the overlook of 200 series build we just did here at Frisbee Automotive